Hey, good afternoon. It's your favorite Dr. Lulu coming right at y'all like I promised. It is 2 p.m. Sunday Central Standard Time and I'm here to talk about bullying today. Um, so in this video we're going to talk about bullying in children and in teens and I'm apologizing ahead of time because I'm at the airport trying to catch a flight in the next 40 minutes. Um, luckily or coincidentally they just announced a delay my flight so I'm going to try to wrap this up in as as fast as I can okay so if you're just joining us if you're joining us um, and watching this video as a rebroadcast please take two seconds to tell me who you are and where you're watching from and give me a thumbs up sign if you can hear me loud and clear secondly if you're watching the live broadcast welcome take a seat relax and let's get going so for those of you who already know me and even if you don't know me my name is dr. Lulu I am your board certified pediatrician I'm a mom and a wife and an exercise enthusiast a veteran and of course yours truly so I'm coming from the Dallas Fort Worth Airport this afternoon so hopefully you can hear me very very well okay All right, so let's talk about bullying so the first thing is statistics right so one out of three or four children are bullied one out of three or four and as you know most kids who are bullied are never going to say anything most kids who are bullies are never going to say anything so one out of three or four means my kids and your kids and to bring it home my son was bullied and i had no idea about it we're going to talk about that later okay so let's shoot it's the airport so you're going to hear some announcements but um, so there are four different kinds of bullying. Okay, the first one is cyber bullying. We're not going to talk about that today. That's another day's um, talk. But the other three are social bullying, verbal bullying, and physical bullying. So all kinds of bullying can happen anywhere. It can happen at home. It can happen in the neighborhood, on the school bus, on the playground, in the classroom, at church, at the YMCA. Really anywhere there are kids. That can be bullying and of course even adults but we're talking about kids right so anyway you have children that can be bullying and because none of these kids is going to tell you and because three to four kids um every one out of three to four kids is being bullied i say all parents be on the alert right yes so what are the signs that your child is being bullied that your child is being bullied so one of the first things that's going to happen is, of course, your child is not going to tell you, right? So you have to be very alert. But the first thing you're going to notice is maybe the child will become withdrawn. They're going to change their behavior. They might be more anxious, more irritable, less friendly, less talkative at home, more reserved. And of course, like I said, more withdrawn. And remember last week we mentioned that um, children who are bullied are two times more likely to become depressed and even consider suicide. So there are some very bad side effects of bullying. And the second thing is the child might have a change of eating habits. If your child's lunch is being taken from them at school, they might suddenly start coming home hungry, right? And then another thing that the kid can be doing is he can come home with missing stuff. His book is missing, his shoes are missing, his book bag is missing. He can also come home with scratches and unexplained injuries and bruises. He can also have insomnia sleep disorders you can have more excessive sleeping or not sleeping as well as used to be and he could also have nightmares um, he could also just refuse to go to bed one of the worst things that can happen with bullying is your child can become a school truant basically not wanting to go to school cutting school coming up with symptoms like headaches and leg pains and stomach pains that may or may not exist or that don't get better and mostly always happen on the weekdays so that's another sign your child might be bullied what if your child is the bully now your child who is the bully is definitely not going to tell you he's the bully or she's the bully the funny thing about bullies is most of them are actually popular kids they're not like withdrawn and unfriendly no they're mostly maybe football they are popular they are famous everybody likes them and so that kind of gives them the impetus to pick on other kids, right? So let me go back to the story about my son. My son was bullied. My elder son was bullied. I had no idea he was being bullied. Not until one day he came home 
without his glasses. I'm going to share this, this story with you because I want you all to know that it can happen to any parent. My son came home without his glasses and I'm like, what happened to your glasses? Well, what had happened was this kid on the school bus, blah, 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 blah. Apparently the kid had said to him, and I quote, when God made you, he left you in the oven too long and you got burnt. That is what a kid said to my child. Needless to say, my kid didn't like it and he might have said some really mean things about his mother to him. The next thing we know, my son ends up with broken glasses. So basically, the truth is your kids are not going to tell you that they're being bullied. And even a very well-raised kid can become a bully if he starts hanging out with the wrong crowd. So one thing that your child who is a bully will do is suddenly start hanging around maybe new friends, a new crowd, the bullies in the school. He can also come home with new clothes, new shoes, new books, things that are not his. Yes. And he can just become more irresponsible, start acting out, not taking responsibility for his actions, telling lies, all of those things that kids who are bullies can start exhibiting. So you as the parent, what are you going to do? The first thing you have to do with your child, if you suspect that your child is being bullied or your child is a bully, is ask them. Just come out and ask them. We talked about this last week, getting to know who your child is with, what your child is doing, who your child is hanging around with. Come out and ask them. So tell me about school. What about um, Susan? What about Tiffany? What about Michael? I thought you used to be friends. What happened to your friendship? What gave you that scar on your body? Where'd you get that cut from? Is anybody bothering you in school? Is anybody taking your lunch in school? Come out and ask them. But if you're not thinking about these things, you're not gonna know. What about that book you had? What happened to it? Things like that. Ask them nicely. Get them to sit down at the dinner table with you and talk to them. And also you must talk to the teachers. You must engage the counselors. Everyone who, is, who has anything to do with your kid must be in the picture. You can ask. You don't want to know what this mother bird did when I found out that my son was being bullied. I don't even want to mention it, but you can be sure I took care of it. So basically, you want to first and foremost ask your kid. And then, then again, if he doesn't tell you, ask his friends. And that brings me to my homework for you guys. Your homework this week is to go and find in a red box or on Netflix a movie called How to Eat Fried Worms. How to eat fried worms. Give me a thumbs up if you agree with me that when you watch this movie, that this movie tells you the anatomy of bullying. It basically breaks it down for you. It's a middle school, middle school, middle age, um, middle school age kids movie. But I recommend the parents watch it because it will open your eyes to all kinds of things that have to do with bullying in, in school. I and mean, your kid might actually be the bully and you don't even know about it. So I promised I wasn't going to keep this for too long. So what are the take home messages for today? Three top tips for today. First of all, remember your kid who is being bullied is not going to tell you that they're being bullied. Second thing, most kids who are bullied actually do grow up to become bullies or do grow up to end up having emotional problems. Some of them never grow out of it. So please, if your kid is being bullied, it is serious. We've already mentioned that your kid can become depressed and can become suicidal. You want to know if your kid is being bullied, right? Plus, you want to nip it in the bud. You don't want your kid to grow up to become a bully and you don't want a kid to grow up with emotional problems. And the third and last point is um, most kids who are bullied, um, we also have someone who might know. So please reach out to their friends, reach out to their teachers, reach out to their classmates, ask questions. As a parent, it is your right to know if your kid is being bullied. It is your right to know what's going on with your kid. Don't relent on finding out where your kid is, who your kid is hanging out with, what's happening on the school bus, what's happening at lunchtime, what's happening in the classroom. You want to know if your kid is being bullied. So those are the points that I have today. Um, I think your homework is to watch that movie called How to Eat Fried Worms. The second thing is to give me a thumbs up, like my page, invite your friends to like my page, tag anyone who has a kid, who has a teenager, who has a kid in school, tag your neighbors, ask them to like my page, spread the word. I'm gonna be here again next Sunday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're gonna be discussing another topic that has to do with children and teens, and I'll see you there. So until then, 
keep smiling, keep learning about your kids, keep finding out what's going on with them, and keep talking to them. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.